Good day. My name is Yekaterina Shashina. I am associate professor of the general hydrogen department of Sechenov University. Today we have the second lecture about food hydrogen. My lecture today is devoted to the diseases and syndromes of insufficient nutrition. According to Stephenson, incorrect eating person looks like as a captain of the ship who sees only a small tip of the iceberg on the ocean surface. He floats quietly until encounters the huge underwater boulder. The first part of the lecture concentrate on the deficient intake of macronutrients, and we start with the protein and energy malnutrition. Malnutrition is classified into two classical syndromes, Kvashioka and Marasmus, or wasting syndrome. And it may be a mixture of both, Marasmic Kvashioka. Annually, some 30 million infants, around 82,000 every day, are born with intrauterine malnutrition growth retardation, mainly due to poor maternal nutritional status. In Eastern Africa, stunting is increasing at 0.08% every year. Kvashioka is most prevalent in overpopulated areas of the world, in undeveloped and developing countries, particularly in sections of Africa, Central and South America, and South in South Asia. Such countries as Malawi, Rwanda, Zambia, Togo, Cameroon, and Haiti are more suffer with Kvashoka. It's very rare in the United States, but does occur, and it's usually a sign of child abuse and neglect. Protein energy malnutrition has been observed in the United States in children with frequent hospitalization for chronic illnesses and in the older population living in nursing homes. Kvashioka, in the language of uh, indigenous people of Ghana, means golden boy or red boy. This is a severe eating disorder in children between six months and three years of age due to significant protein deficiency. On these slides, you see typical general appearance of the children suffering with kvashioka. The leading factor in the pathogenesis of kvashioka is the lack of plastic substances and enzymes in the child's body. It's especially easy to develop in young children because to ensure intensive processes of growth and development, it's necessary to maintain a constant positive nitrogen balance in the body. Protein intake should exceed its expenditure. Insufficient intake of proteins leads to reducing in protein synthesis in the liver. This entails the oncotic pressure decreasing that in turn leads to the changes in the endocrine system and electrolyte balance. This is cause of such symptoms of kvashioka as edemas and ascites. The insufficient protein supply to pancreas leads to reduction of enzyme synthesis. This entails digestive disorder and malabsorption. The next symptom, diarrhea, is caused by just these changes. Malabsorption leads to secondary protein deficiency. Also, the insufficient intake of proteins leads to the skin depigmentation, to the loss and depigmentation of hair, and to the psychomotor disorders. So, the obligatory symptoms of kvashioka are edemas, stunting, muscular hypotonia with subcutaneous tissue preservation and psychomotor disturbance as a result of central nervous system function disorder. In severe cases, lethargy and stupor may develop. Kvashioka has also optional but frequently uh, occurring symptoms. They include characteristic change, uh, characteristic changes in the skin, 
hyperpigmentation and lead peeling in places of greatest friction with closing. The pigmentation at the site of previous darkening or after disquamation sometimes de generalized depigmentation. Hair become rarer, seen, and lose elasticity. Dark hair due to depigmentation can turn red with streaks of red, orange, or gray color. Then moon phase caused by swelling and hormonal disorders. Anemia due to protein, vitamins, and iron deficiency, and diarrhea. Immunity sharply decreases. It entails infectious diseases and invasion, which have a severe cause. Often there are complications caused by a secondary infection. And at last, not permanent symptoms such as dermatosis and symptoms of internal organ disorder, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, skin manifestations such as each rash. There, uh, there may be signs of deficiency of vitamin A, vitamins of group B and others. Elementary marasmus or wasting syndrome is due to deficiency of proteins and calories, and it's common infants under one year of age. The symptoms of marasmus are lack of subcutaneous fats, muscular dystrophy, weight loss is 60% of the regional standards, patients look like a little old man, the child is mobile, alert, and irritable. Now, summing up everything that we learned, let's make a differential diagnosis of these two syndromes. So, Kwashioka develops in children those diet, uh, whose diet are deficient of protein. Marasmus is due to deficiency of proteins and also calories. Then, Kwashioka may be in children till three years of age. Marasmus under one year old. Subcutaneous fat is preserved only at Kwashioka, not at Marasmus. Edemas and ascites are present at Kwashioka, not at Marasmus. The hair, uh, hair color change only at Kwashioka. At Marasmus, hair may be unchangeable or may be absent. Children with Kwashioka have en uh, enlarged fatty liver, whereas children with marasmus do not have it. Ribs become very prominent at children with marasmus. These children are alert and irritable. In constant children, uh, in contrast, children with Kwashioka that are lethargic. At marasmus, children's muscles are severe wasty. And finally, Children with Kwashioka have poor appetite and need adequate amounts of proteins, while the children with marasmus are voracious feeders and need adequate amount of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates to eliminate the disease. The next, next cause of deficient nutritional status is the deficiency of dietary polyunsaturated fatty acids, in particular linoleic, linolenic, and arachidonic acids. Their functions and sources we consider in the first lecture about food hygiene in the section 1.3 in details. Now let's consider the symptoms of their deficiency. Due to polyunsaturated fatty acids are structural elements of cells membranes, the deficiency leads to dry uh, and enzymatosis skin lesions, decreased elasticity of blood vessels and increased blood cholesterol. The formation of gastric and duodenal ulcers. Also, it may be gross retardation, reduced sustainability to, uh, to the environmental factors, suppressed of reproductive function because the fatty acids ensure the normal development and adaptation of the human body to adverse environmental factors. Mm -hmm. 
another one micronutrient uh, that we need uh, for normally function of our body is dietary fibers. They consist of polysaccharides, lignin and wax, and are found in vegetables, fruits, and cereals. Insufficient intake of dietary fibers may provoke diabetes because they regulate the rate of absorption nutrients, in particular glucose, and modify the glucose absorption and increase body's tolerance to it. Atherosclerosis may be a dietary fibers deficiency because normal content of fibers in diet reduces the level of cholesterol in the blood. Atherosclerosis, in turn, is a cause of microdial ischemia. Dietary fibers also regulate the rate of absorption of fats and increase the feeling of fullness and suppress appetite. This is why the deficiency may lead to obesity. Due to fibers deficiency, cholelysis may be, because they bind bile acids and prevent the formation of stones in kidneys. Dietary fibers bind water and decrease the viscosity of the whole blood. So the deficiency may entail varicose veins. Also, dietary fibers support of the endoecology of the intestine, have anti-inflammatory effect, stimulate the motor secretory and evacuation function and absorb toxins. That is why the deficiency leads to disease of bowel, in particular colon, irritable bowel syndrome, diverticular disease, constipation, hemorrhoid, and uh, colorectal cancer. Another variant of deficient nutritional status is deficiency of vitamins. In most cases, it's polyhypovitaminosis. The deficiency is revealed not only in spring, but in the most favorable period of the year in summer. Therefore, it's a permanent adverse factor. Polyvitamin deficiency is combined with iron deficiency and anemia, and also with deficiency of minerals, such as iodine, calcium, selenium, Multivitamin deficiency is characteristic to all population groups, despite of age, gender, and profession. There are four groups, case groups of hyper and avitaminosis. They include alimentary vitamins deficiency, in other words, insufficient intake of vitamins. The next one is the inhibition of the normal intestinal microflora or dysbacteriosis. The third group is violation of vitamins assimilation, for example, due to malabsorption. And the last group is the increased need for vitamins. Group of alimentary deficiency combines the causes of insufficient entrance of vitamins from outside. Other causes of vitamin deficiency relate to inside problems. Alimentary deficiency may be because of low content of vitamins in the daily diet. If the diet is poor in foods that are sources of vitamins. Another variant is when vitamins present in the dietary products is enough quantities, but they are destroyed during technological processing of food products or at long-term storage and improper cooking of products. Antivitamin factors contained in products may also reduce the amount of intake vitamins. The decrease of vitamins intake is also promoted by a violation of the diet balance and violation of the optimal ratio between vitamins and other substances, and between different vitamins. It's known that vitamin C is easily assimilated in the presence of iron and worst in the presence of tannin. Vitamins may be present in the products in a poor digestible form, and increased consumption of the product does not lead to an increase in the concentration of vitamin in the blood.
Insufficient intake of vitamins and other um, nutrients may be due to refuse from food because of anorexia, perversion or of taste and religion restrictions on use of certain products also may entail the vitamins deficiency. Increased need for vitamins arises at special psychological, uh, psycho, uh, psychological con uh, condition of the body, such as rapid growth, pregnancy, lactation, or due to exposure to special climatic conditions, for example, extreme cold climate, intense physical load and or uh, neuropsychological stress are also require the increased intake of vitamins. A person who is under the exposure to adverse environmental factor, such as microorganisms, chemical toxins, physical production factors, needs an increased quantity of vitamins necessary to maintain his health. Diseases of the intestinal, uh, internal organ and endocrine glands or increased excretion of vitamins are also causes of increased vitamin intake. We proceed to description of functions of certain vitamins in the body and the deficiency symptoms. The first one is vitamin A or retinol. Retinol is included in the visual pigment, promotes health of bones and teeth, hair and nails, skin and mucous membranes of the mouth, lung and stomach. It strengthens the immune system and enhances the action of vitamin C. It's an antioxidant. The common symptoms of vitamin A deficiency are loss of appetite and, as a result, weight loss, fatigue, <clears throat> frequent viral infections. There are some skin problems due to retinal deficiency. For example, hyperkeratosis. It means abnormal thickening of the keratin layer of the epidermis. It may be follicular hyperkeratosis resulting from vitamin A and C deficiency. It resembles goose flesh, but cannot be distinguished from it because the bumps do not disappear when the skin is rubbed. The lesions commonly appear on the lateral surface of the arms and extensor surface of the sides. Typical localization of the hyperkeratosis is, one, is on the knees, elbows, and palms. In children, on the cheeks. Eyes problem due to retinal deficiency are cirrhosis of the conjunctiva and hemerolopia. Hemerolopia is the inability to see clearly is a blind light. Is a exit opposite of nyctolopia, night uh, blindness, the uh, inability to see clearly in low light. In hemerolopia, daytime vision gets worse, characterized uh, by photo uh, adversion, dislike and avoidance of light, rather than photophobia, eyes discomfort and pain in light, which is typically on inflammations of eyes. Nighttime vision largely remains unchangeable due to the use of rods as opposite of corners, uh, which are affected by hemerolopia. And in turn, degrade uh, the daytime optical response. Hence, many patients feel they see better at dark than in daytime. Also, a small silver gray plaque with a dual surface may appear on the periphery of the eye conjunctiva. It rises above the level of the conjunctiva. It's so-called vital spots. They are uh, early signs of keratomalacia. Mainly, retinol is contained in animal products, such as eggs, butter, dairy products, and liver. Provitamin A, carotene, is obtained from the products of plant origin, 
carrot, bell pepper, pumpkin, green parts of the plants, etc. Carotene is deposited mainly in the hepatic stellate cells where it transforms to vitamin A. Its function is similar with vitamin A action. It promotes healthy bones and teeth, hair and nails, skin and mucous membranes. The next vitamin is thymine. Vitamin B1, normal, uh, vitamin B1 normalizes action of the nervous and cardiovascular systems, maintains the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats, normalizes the acidity of gastric ulcer and motility of stomach and bowel. Thus, due to thiamine deficiency, the nervous system disorder is manifested in increased irritability, anxiety, loss of appetite, headache, memory loss, insomnia, tearfulness. Insufficient intake of thiamine leads to affect the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats that is manifested in the chilly sensation at room temperature, quick mental and physical fatigue, both metabolism violation and cardiovascular and uh, nervous system disorders entails psychomotor disturbance, muscle weakness, pain and cramps in the half muscles. The disease connected with thiamine deficiency is alimentary polyneuritis or beriberi. Beriberi is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition there are two main forms of beriberi, wet and dry. Wet form mainly affects the cardiovascular system. It causes poor blood circulation and fluid accumulation in tissue. It may be myocardial dystrophy of the right heart, followed by the development of, uh, of right ventricular fa uh, failure and severe edema syndrome. Dry form primarily affects the peripheral nervous system. It leads to nervous de degeneration. Typically, degeneration or, uh, begins in the legs and arms. It's manifested in the muscle atrophy and loss or reflexes, a sensitivity disorder and a paresis, paralysis of the insect uh, uses of the hand and foot. Vitamin B1 is contained in bakery yeast, brain, unpolished rice, whole wheat, oat, beans, peas, nuts, and raisins, as well as in the product of animal origin, such as liver, pork, salmon, chicken fillet, eggs, and so on. The deficiency of riboflavin or vitamin B2 causes damage of the eyes, skin, tongue, and lips. Let's consider some of them. Vascular hyperemia is an injection of the episclerial blood vessels. Its intensity decreases in towards the limbus. Skin damage can be manifested by seborrheic dermatitis of the nasolabial skin folds of the face or of years and by skin peeling is the nasal label skin falls and years. Riboflavin deficiency entails dyschromatic glossitis, to put another way, geographic tongue, because uneven hypertrophy of tongue papilla leads to the appearance of a drawing on the surface of a tongue that resembles uh, main lens of the world map. There are also possible hyperemia and hypertrophy of the tongue's papillae. And tongue edema. These symptoms are characteristics of combined deficiency of riboflavin, pyridoxine, and niacin. Chelosis is possible. It means lips affection with vertical cracks and epithelial disclamation. 
it may be a painful uh, inflation and cracking of the mouse corners. It sometimes occurs on only one side of the mouse, but usually it's bilateral. Often it's a symptom of combined deficiency of vitamins B2 and B6. Chelitis is an inflammation of the lips that manifests itself in the form of the uh, blanching and peeling. Small cracks, redness, and maceration located on the red border of the mucous membrane of the lips. Sometimes the lesion spreads to the skin. Almost all people, at least one of their life, have become ill chelitis. Deficiency of riboflavin can be replaced with the products of animal origin, such as milk, liver, kidneys, fish, yak yolk, cheese, and plant origin, bakers yeast, fitty green vegetables, spinach, and so on. In addition to the symptoms described above, a deficiency of pyridoxine or vitamin B6 causes irritability, lethargy, drowsiness, loss of appetite, and nausea. Skin becomes dry and rough. It's possible the lips and oral mucosa lesions, gross retardation in children. Pyridoxine comes from products of animal and plant origin mainly with baker's yeast, bitran, with jom, walnuts, cantaloupes, cabbage, and also with liver, kidneys, hot milk, eggs, and meat. The next vitamin of group B is cyanocobalamin, or vitamin B12. In our organism, this vitamin normalizes the process of hematopoiesis, function of liver and nervous system, regulates metabolism of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. B12 is synthesized by intestinal microflora, but in insufficient quantities. Due to vitamin uh, B12 relates uh, this process of hematopoiesis, inadequate intake of this vitamin leads to pernicious anemia. This in turn entails weakness, fatigue, dizziness, headache. Insufficient body supply manifests in the pale yellow skin with mild numbness and the feeling of pins and needless presence in the body. Products that contain cyanocobalamin include liver, beef, pork, yak yolk, milk, cheese, kidneys, and shrimps. Very important vitamin in our life is vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is a powerful antioxidant. It regulates blood clotting, bone formation, the formation uh, of steroid hormones, carbohydrate metabolism. It stimulates the production of interferon, inhibits the reproduction of viruses, and reduces the influence of allergens. That is why the its deficiency is manifested by dizziness, fatigue, weakness, dark spots under light pressure on the skin, and areas of the depigmentation of the skin in the nasolobial folds. Wounds can heal more slowly, Hypersensitivity to cold and the decreased immunity manifest in the increasing in the number of respiratory viral diseases per year. Some manifestations are present on the following slide. For example, pitia. Pitia are red dots on the skin that occur when capillaries rupture. Then, ecchymosis. It's defined as hemorrhagic blotching due to pool, pooling of blood under the skin or mucous membrane. You see the difference between pitia and ecchymosis on the right figure. So, pitia occurs as a result of rupture of single vessels. 
there are point hemorrhages and uh, are separated from each other. Ecchymosis are the confluent subcutaneous hemorrhage occurring a large, uh, 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 occupying a large area. On this slide, you see the next symptom of vitamin C deficiency, bleeding gums. In the case of significant long-term deficiency of vitamin C in the diet, bleeding gums are the first sign of a serious disease scurvy. Ascorbic acid is uh, required as a cofactor in the process of collagen synthesis. So due to vitamin C deficiency, the collagen synthesis is violated. Collagen is the primary structural protein in the human body. It's necessary for blood vessels, uh, uh, blood vessels wall, muscle, skin, bones, cartilages, and other connective tissue. Defective connective tissue loses its strength. It leads to uh, fran fragile capilla ca uh, capillaries, resulting in the abnormal bleeding, bruising, and internal uh, hemorrhage wounds here longer. Collagen is an important part of bone, so bone uh, formation is also affected. Teeth loosen bones break more easily, and uh, once healed fractures may recur. Untreated scurvy is uh, invariably uh, uh, fatal. Nowadays, rates of scurvy in, uh, in most of the world are low. Those most commonly affected are malnutrition people in the developing world and the homeless. There have been outbreaks of the condition and refugee camps. Vitamin C is rapidly destroyed by the action of air. Therefore, fruits and vegetables must be cut immediately before eating. Sliced food must be covered uh, with a lid. High temperature also destroys ascorbic acid. And cooked vegetables lost up to 60% of vitamin C. The next factor of the vitamin C destruction is contact, uh, contact with metal. This is why products containing ascorbic acid should be cooked in the non-metal cans and be kept in the emalt or plastic dishes or cans. Also, the exposure to alkaline environment destroys vitamin C. Vitamin C is contained in the majority fruits and vegetables citrus fruits, berries, tomatoes, potatoes, uh, cabbage, etc. The richest source of vitamin C are rose hips. They are the fruits of the rose plant. Vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin, is fat soluble. The previous ones were water soluble. It plays an important role in the absorption of calcium from blood and thus make our bones strong. Deficiency of vitamin D may be caused uh, due to poor exposure to sunlight, the milk allergies, or the adherence to a strict ve vegan diet. Vitamin D deficiency is known to play an important role in prevalence of osteoporosis, cramps in the half muscles, frequent bone fractures, and their slow erosion, uh, accretion, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, and infections such as tuberculosis. Most patients might not experience any symptoms. There are some of the signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, the muscle weakness, the thinning or bruising of bones, mood changes, high blood pressure, fatigue, bone and back pain, impaired wound healing, unexplained infertility. In children, the calciferal deficiency causes rickets. Rickets is relatively common in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. 
is generally uncommon in the United States and Europe, except among certain minority groups. It begins in childhood, typically between the age of three and 18 months old. Rates of the disease are equal in males and females. Cases of uh, rickets have been described since the first century and the conditions was widespread in the Roman Empire. The disease was common into the 20th century. Rickets is a, uh, is a condition that results in a weak or soft bones in children. Young children may be bowed legs, seamed ankles and wrists. Older children might have knock knees. There are two types of deformation, vargus and valgus. It's determined by the uh, distal parts of the leg bones being more medial or lateral than it should be. Therefore, when the apex of the joint points medially, the deformity would uh, be called valgus. Then the apex of the joint points laterally, the deformity would be called vargus. It's important to bear in mind that the most proximal part of a bone or joint is the reference point and that vargus or valgus angles are relative to the angle in normal situation, which need not to be zero. The next symptom is the deformity of a pigeon chest may result in the presence of Harrison groove. Other symptoms of rickets include stunted growth, bone pain, large forehead, and trouble sleeping, spinal curvatures and kyphoscoliosis or lumbar lordosis may be present. The pelvic bones may be deformed. A condition known as a rechitic rosary can result in the uh, sickening caused by nodules forms on the costochondral joints. This appears as the visible bumps in the middle of each ribs in a line or each side uh, on each side of the body. Uh, this something resemble a rosary, giving rise on its name. Complication may include bone fractures, muscle spasm, and abnormality curve spine or in, uh, intellectual disability. The underlying mechanism involves insufficient calcification of the growth plate. Diagnosis is generally based both on the blood tests and x-ray examination. A low calcium and phosphorus and high alkaline phosphatide, uh, phosphatates are found in the blood. Today, doctors and scientists under the term vitamin D means vitamins D2, ergo calciferol, which we get from sunlight, and D3, cholecalciferol, which is synthesized from fatty fish products such as salmon, tuna, sardines, herring, cold liver, and fish oil. To a much lesser extent, vitamin D is contained in butter, cheese, and other fatty dairy products, egg yolk, red caviar. So one of the sous is forest mushrooms, chanterelles, not growth under artificial light, and some other types of mushrooms in the cells of which ergocalciferol is produced from ergosterol. The main source of industrial production of vitamin D ergosterol is yeast. The next vitamin that we are considering is vitamin E. It's also fat soluble. Tocopherol is an antioxidant. It prevents the formation of antisclerotic plaques in the blood vessels, strengthens the immune system reduces the need for oxygen in the heart muscle and positive effects on the peripheral circulation. Being di a diuretic, it lowers blood pressure, improves reproductive function and potency. Deficiency symptoms are dizziness, fatigue, weakness, slow wound healing, 
weakness of the heart muscles and sexual dysfunction. Tocopherol are mainly contained in the plant products, such as vegetable oils, uh, wheat germ, soybeans, broccoli, spinach, whole grains, and also in the eggs. The next vitamin, PP, in other words, niacin, nicotinamide, nico, uh, nicotinic acid, or vitamin B3. It causes the disease pellagra. The name of this disease comes from the it, uh, item words pella and agra. It is diseased skin. This disease was originally recorded in Spain, Portugal, and Italy, and eventually spread on other European countries. The disease attacked, first of all, people living in low light conditions prisoners, mentally ill people. Initially, it was believed that the disease arises from an allergy to light. Dr. Joseph Goldberg identifies the cause of pellagra. This disease was very common in the United States in the 1800s and caused diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and death. Dr. Goldberg conduct many experiments on the diet of prisoners with pellagra and showed that it was a deficiency disease caused by a lack of vitamin PP. Pellagra can occur in a chronically uh, resubsing form, lasting with temporary improvements over many years. An exacerbation is usually observed in the end of winter or the beginning um, of spring lasts through the summer and by autumn, digestive disorder and skin changes disappeared. But if nutrition is not enriched with vitamin PP and complete proteins, then by the next spring, the disease recurs. From year to year, the patient is becoming more and more exhausted, striking with the uh, sinus literary resemblance and uh, Egyptian mummy. One of the common leading symptoms of pellagra disease is dermatitis. It manifests itself in the fact that the skin turns red, becomes rough, becomes covered with blisters, ulcer, uh, ulcer, uh, ulcers remains in the place of bursting blister. Dark brown pigmentation spots and cracks are formed on the skin. These changes affect body surface exposed to sun. It seems that the hands are dressed in brown gloves. The neck is dressed in the color of the same color. And a huge brown butterfly is located on the cheeks. Skin manifestations of pellagra are very typical, but they do not develop in all patients. Especially often, a disease without skin manifestations is observed in the northern latitudes. Another group of pellagra symptoms is severe digestive system disorder. The inflammation of the mucous membrane of the oral cavity and tongue develops. The later becomes covered with plaques and cracks. Then the plaques disappear and the tongue becomes bright red shiny, if, if vanished, persistent diarrhea appears, Hydro, uh, hydrochloric acid ceases uh, to be produced in the stomach and severe and uh, enhancing occurs. The third seam affected by pellagra is the nervous system. It's disorders in severe cases and with a mental, mental illness, memory loss, delirium, and dementia. So symptoms of the pellagra are symptoms of 3D, diarrhea, dermatitis, and dementia. The first attempts and treatment were, no, uh, were to use the appropriate diet. They were products containing a lot of uh, tryptophan, which in the human body is converted to nicotinic acid. Vitamin P 
is contained in such products as liver, white meat of poultry, whole wheat, baker seed, fish, eggs, green leafy vegetables, bell peppers, and dried mushrooms. And the last vitamin that we are considering in the uh, is S-methylmethionine. It's a protein metabolite that is synthesized in body and is water soluble. It has antihistamine effect and is used for prophylactic and heal of asthma and food allergies. Vitamin O, tysons and heal erosion uh, and ulcers of the gastric and, duod and du uh, duodenum. The main sources of vitamin O are juice of cabbage, potatoes, dill, parsley, celery, tomato, carrot, fresh natural milk, and eggs. That is all for today. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye.